Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Monday Morning. I'm Elric Ferris here once again on the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel, bringing you guys the unboxing and first look at a brand new product from the people over at Cooler Master. Now, lots of people out there are always looking for a high-end power supply for their SLI, Crossfire, or just their standard system. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at their new Silent Pro Platinum 1000 watt power supply. It has a 135 millimeter fan. It's got some good features. It's supposed to be modular with some really cool cables. So with that said, let's jump in and take the trusty knife, which flipped out faster than I meant to. And with that said, let's take the trusty knife and do the unboxing. All right, folks, so like usual, you know, we got the box here, so I'm gonna take the trusty knife and just remove some of this uh, stuff here. So we can just rip it off like a kid at Christmas time. After you get the initial rip, we'll just rip it all off so we can see the box. To all you unboxing fans out there, I'm gonna like looking at the box. So we'll start off at the front of the box. We got the Cooler Master Silent Pro Platinum 1000 watt. You can see we got the 80 plus platinum over here. It's the best you can get. Five year warranty. Some other details. Just flip it around to the side right here. This is probably gonna be one of the more important things. So the camera and zoom in here. This tells you the model number. It's the RS A00 SPPA. You can see type is the Intel form factor ATX 12 volt active PFC tells the fan type again mean time between failure 100,000 hours all the different protection modes that are involved in the power supply the dimensions 92% efficiency that'll be in the back of the box here are the connections you can see them right here 24 pin 1 CPU 4 plus 4 2 PCIe 6 pin plus 2 pin there are 6 SATA 12, peripheral four pins, floppy, and finally a fan cable three pins times two. So flip it around. Lastly, show you guys the very back of the box. Here's where you see the fan curve. Here's the efficiency curve. Now we'll go ahead and begin to remove it out of the box. Pop the lens cap here. Go ahead and just take it out of the box nice and simply, like so. Take the box and smack the camera over the head. Oh! You guys even heard that, huh? He deserves it. Don't ask me why. I know he's done something I don't know about. So let's figure out this thing, getting it out of here. So. Nope. Oh. Alright. So there we go. There's a little piece of rubber stuff right here which we will <gasps> toss to the cameraman and flip it around again so you guys can see it right off the bat we've got a booklet with some stuff inside of here it's the user's manual it shows they have two models in the silent pro platinum line which is the 550 watt and the thousand watt gives you installation instructions stuff like that important stuff go ahead and just get that out of the way inside We've got a, a bag of Seagram 7. I mean, uh, I mean a, a power supply. Looks like a bag of Seagram 7, doesn't it? Go ahead and pop the little cap open here. It's a nice bag of tricks here. There we go. And dun 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 dun. dun. Pop boom. So here's the bag. You guys might be able to use it for other things, you know, like put your magic tricks in there, your gold in there, tie it to your waist like you're some kind of funky renaissance man, you know? Opinions vary. So we'll pop over here to the end. These are gonna obviously be all the cables. Let me get this out. So here are the cables. But first, let's actually look at the design of the power supply. So obviously, as you guys know, it's going to be semi-modular because the power connections themselves are inside the power supply. So we'll start off right there. You guys can see there's the 24 pin and the two four pins that we talked about before for the power. They're all right here. Things kind of bundled up right there. So I'll unbundle it for you folks. Try to get a better look at it. All right, so there we go. So now that I've unbundled it, we can actually get these things up and take a better look at everything. So, so let's begin again with all the connections. So these are all the connections right here, the first ones. These are all the different ones for your power. Here's a 24 pin. 
as well. So those are all going to, you know, be the non-modular. Let me get those out of the way here so we can take a look here. So here's the back of the power supply now. I'll set it down so you guys can see it. Everything's marked very clearly. Fan controllers, your PCIe, HDD, SATA, floppy. Flip it around to the side. You guys can see the nomenclature of the design. And then I'm going to flip it around on this side right here so that you guys can see the back of the power supply. Here's the on and off switch. Here's the power. Inside you guys can see all the components. You can't see them totally clearly because it's got a thing on there, but you guys know what it is. Then here's the 135 millimeter fan that we spoke of earlier. Metal shield to keep you from ever touching it, although you shouldn't unless you get it on some kind of open bench. The very back of the power supply. Once again, it shows you the product number, so the camera will zoom in there. You can see again the 80 plus platinum. All right, folks, so now we've seen the power supply, we've seen all that stuff. Let's take a look at the additional cabling that's going to come inside this little bag right here. So first off the bat, we have the power cable, which we sell assault the cameraman with and make him hurt. No, we won't. That probably hurt him. He probably get some kind of internet lawyer, something, you know, sue me. Say, you hurt me, man. It's all right. Here go the ones for your fan controllers right here. So these are your fan controller connections. The screws to mount the power supply in. And then here goes this big bundle of cables, which after I take it apart, won't be so easy to put back together. But what the heck? You folks want to see them, so we'll just start showing them to you one at a time. So here we go. These are the six plus two. Said there were six of these. So here's one of the six. Two of the six. I don't think I need to show you every single one of these folks. You guys know what there is. I showed you how many there was before. Everything will be inside of the description. So all you gotta do is look at the link in the description below. It'll have all the full details anyways. But here are some of the Molex connectors. Now, earlier when they said that was the, the modular design, this is what I think is more important we should talk about. Here go here some of the SATA ones, you know. But check it out. Some people talk a lot of shit about the flat cables. Some people really like them. Some people say they're hard to use. It just depends on what you're doing with it because the flat cables honestly are made to sit in the back of your case. So if you don't have a lot of room back there for cable management, this actually works very, very well. So, so that's pretty much it, folks. If you're a fan of Cooler Master, you're gonna really like this power supply. It has lots of features. It's semi-modular. If you're looking for something that's fully modular, that's up to you. You either gonna like or love the cables, depending on the type of build you're doing. I prefer them. I think they're very easy to use, like I said before, because when you're using them in the back of a case and you're looking for cable management, having a flat cable looks really cool. And most people these days do their own kind of custom stuff anyways. They like braid them up their own way. They cable them their own way. So there's just all kinds of custom things that people are going to do anyway. So that's it, folks. We'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow.